Previously, we took a look at some disturbing and depressing bachelor pads that I found on Reddit. You gentlemen enjoyed that video and decided that you wanted me to take a look at your homes. So in this video, that's exactly what we're going to do. I have five very different bachelor pads that we're going to take a look at today. Thank you to everyone who sent in their submissions. You're very brave. Let's see how it goes. And I deliberately haven't looked at these too much because I want it to be my instinctive raw reaction when we take a look. I am going to keep these completely anonymous in case I say something mean, but if you would like to identify yourselves in the comments and get further feedback from your fellow subscribers, then please feel free to do so. Okay, this is a good start. This guy has a really nice dining table. I actually quite like the bench seating and it has some regular seating on the other side. Huge bouquet of flowers. I think these are all bachelors. I think there's all guys living on their own. So huge props to having flowers as a single man. I've never even done that myself. This guy obviously loves a drink, so he's okay in my books. Interesting uh, placement of the wine bottles up here, kind of on the shelf above the French doors. How do I stop this from moving up? There we go. Normally I'm very opposed to the use of old alcohol bottles used as decor, but I actually think it works really well here. And it, it goes, obviously this guy is a wine kind of guy, you know, he's got this huge decorative bottle down here. I wonder if this is him, I don't know, honestly. I like the shelving that's going on here, some interesting and unusual objects. There's this kind of hammer thing up here, some photographs, I'm gonna assume this is him, maybe he works at Ernst & Young. I suppose I've identified him a bit too much. Some fragrance here. Really nice dining area overall. And it looks very clean and tidy as well. Nothing dirty on the floor. Okay, this must be the living room. Again, very nice and clean, open and airy. I love apartments that have a lot of natural light like this. Mine is like this, just all windows on one side. Really beautiful view there. I think this is a skateboard or this is a snowboard. As you can tell, I'm not really a sports guy. No TV. Sometimes I think you get props for having no TV. It makes you look more intelligent, but it's also nice to have a movie evening now and then with a girl. So personally, I recently decided to go for the TV. I don't really like having a bike indoors. This doesn't look like an exercise bike. This looks like a street bike, maybe an electric bike, but I've seen a lot of guys have these, especially when they live in a city and they get around by cycling. Personally, I don't think it really belongs in the house or maybe you can store it somewhere a little more subtle. In terms of the actual pieces of furniture, this sofa looks really, really comfortable. I like the coffee table. He's got some candles. He's got some nice magazines. Really beautiful living room overall. <laughs> okay, and he has a cute dog as well. So, okay, this is like an open plan living and dining room. I don't have any photos of this guy's bedroom, but if the rooms that we've seen so far are anything to go by, I think they're really good. I think this is a space that every woman would enjoy being in. It shows that this guy has a bit of class, a bit of taste, and he knows how to keep his place clean and organized, which is a huge plus. Okay, next one. Very different so far from the one that we just looked at. This looks a little bit like a basement flat maybe it's very dark in here huge dining table honestly for the size of the place a six person dining table although i think this might have been a place that he lived not on his own but with roommates so maybe this is to accommodate all of the people that would be having dinner together i'm not a huge fan of this sofa slash table setup it looks a little bit makeshift he sent quite a lot of photos with different angles so maybe we will see big rug there Overall, it's not too bad. They have some nice house plants, uh, a map up there. It's a little bit makeshift. It looks a little bit like a lot of these things were bought from a thrift store, thrift store, which there's nothing wrong with that inherently, but you don't necessarily want your place to look like that's what's happened. So this guy is a Liverpool fan. I actually don't really follow football. A lot of people always ask me when they hear my accent over here, they ask me what's my favorite soccer team and I just honestly, I don't really care. This is a really nice map actually. I think a vintage map or a vintage globe is a really nice addition to a man's bedroom or a man's house. I think especially if you're somebody who's interested in travel, then it, it says something about your personality. When I lived with my previous girlfriend, she had a map above the toilet and I would stand there and look at this map while I was peeing and 
I probably learned more about geography just from peeing and looking at that map than I did in seven years of school. Anyway, okay, this guy, <laughs> I hope that these are not live and, you know, ready to go, because if so, that would be very unsafe gun storage. But I think this guy lives in a country where people don't really have guns, so I'm going to presume that they're antiques. Otherwise, please put your guns away and keep them responsibly. This, I cannot figure out for the life of me what it is. It's so strange. It looks like some kind of little dungeon coffin thing. As I said, this guy wasn't from America or the UK. This might be something normal that I'm just not familiar with. I have no idea what this is. Honestly, if anybody could tell me, it doesn't look very good, to be honest. It looks quite unappealing. I see he's done his best to cover it with some house plants, but yeah, if anybody can let me know what this is, I have no clue. Obviously, if you watched my previous video, you will have known that some of the things in that video were a complete freak show. So compared to that, everything looks quite normal so far. Nice photo there. Well, painting, I suppose, of the shipwreck. I think there's a really subtle nautical aesthetic and kind of global traveler aesthetic going on with this place, which I think it would be better if they actually brought that out a bit more and actually emphasized that because right now it is lacking a little bit of a personality and a theme. And I think the nautical slash traveler, you know, with the world map, maybe he could get in a couple of vintage globes. I think that would really bring the place together. Oh, well, there you go. He has a globe. I actually bought a globe recently, which is so bad. It's, um, <laughs> I wanted something kind of like this and I don't have time to go like hunting around antique stores and thrift stores to try and find the right thing. So I thought I'll try and find something on Etsy or somewhere. And I bought this thing on Etsy and it looks so bad. I'm going to show you actually. Whatever you do, don't buy one of these. It just looks so cheap and naff. I think it was about $30, so maybe it serves me right. But yeah, I'll definitely be sending this one back. Sometimes when you're furnishing a place, buying stuff online, some you win, some you lose. You can't always expect miracles when you're buying something kind of blind, you can't see it up close, you can't touch it, feel it, so... I suppose you have to take a couple of hits, but something like this would be much more appealing in my opinion. So overall, my thoughts on this place. I think it's halfway there, for sure. I think living with other people is a little bit hard to get your communal area looking nice, because people have different tastes, people are contributing different kinds of furniture, people have different budgets, but I have confidence that when this guy actually gets a place to himself, he'll do a really nice job. Okay, now we move on to my third victim. Though actually, I've been quite nice so far, because the places have been good. Very nice living area. That sofa looks incredibly comfortable. So does the rug. I like the coffee table too. Bunch of books in the back, a few different lamps. This is a really cozy space. The only thing that's bothering me slightly is that these photos up here, firstly, I think five is too many, but secondly, they look a bit, they look a bit wonky to you. They look a little bit off, but um, overall for a living area, really nice. I remember he said in his email that this place was his office. One thing I love about this office are these posters. These are so cool. Vintage posters. I love it. I think for a, a masculine office space, this looks great. And it really works with this accent wall at the back as well. The bookshelf could maybe do with an upgrade. It's that Ikea one that everybody has, but I do love the vintage typewriter at the back. It looks like this guy probably needs a new bookshelf sometime soon anyway, because he has too many books, which is a good problem to have. The desk itself is not the most amazing. You know, it looks kind of just like a plastic and glass. Maybe a nice wooden desk would be a good upgrade here. Personally, I need to upgrade my desk too, but it can be hard sometimes to find a desk that is both functional and beautiful. But overall, I really like the setup. This looks like a nice place to work, and it looks like the kind of place that other people would enjoy being in too. Sometimes men who have offices at home, it can be a total no-go zone for the rest of their family, but this guy looks like a really nice, relaxing space. I think this was another view from the office. If so, really nice. Pretty cool poster again. I like the clock on the wall. The only reason I don't add a clock on my wall is I find that if I can see the time, time goes very slowly and I don't always like that. So I actually prefer to be kind of ignorant of the time. I even turned the clock off on my computer 
I changed it to the analog clock, so I can't see exactly what time it is. That's just a strange thing about me. I love these masks here. And this place overall is a really nice combination of just classic, good sense, good style, but also some unique touches. And the final photo, okay, this is just another view of the office, a bit more. A few more books there. I like the lampshade actually. So that's his place. Overall, really nice place. Good use of natural light. Great use of comfortable furniture. It's a very practical home. It definitely looks like somebody lives there and it's functional, but it's also beautiful. I love the individual pieces. It looks like a great space for a man to live and work and entertain. This one was sent in by one of my subscribers in the UK who is actually one of the first people to follow me on Instagram. When I started this channel, I didn't really care about Instagram. I still don't really put as much focus into it as I do with the YouTube, but this guy was one of my first followers, so I'm very grateful to that, and I'm glad that he sent in some photos for me to take a look at. So my first impressions of this one, not bad, not bad. Um, nice and bright, not too cluttered, looks pretty clean. The sofa doesn't look like the greatest sofa to sit on. This one looks like it could maybe do with an upgrade, but not too bad. I see this guy is also a musician. I think if you are a musician, I think it's totally cool to leave your instruments lying around. You know, if they look cool, it's part of your personality. Why hide them away? There's definitely a kind of bamboo, wicker, natural feeling to this place, which you're going to see in the other photos too. I like most of the furniture except for the sofa, to be honest. The only thing that's a little bit off to me here is having the guitar amp under this, unless this is on legs. Okay, this is on legs. It's not just kind of floating on top of the guitar amp. But I know this amp because I've had a few of these orange amps before. They actually look really cool. So I would have this one kind of on display. Why not? Overall, there's a little bit too much furniture in here. Taking a look at it from another angle. A little bit too much furniture. Nice. I'm going to... Is this a candle? The Aqua de Palma. It's either a candle or a huge bottle of it. But um, I love that fragrance. And I can actually imagine this guy's place with the feeling that he's going for really suiting a nice light summery kind of lemony fragrance. Okay, here we come to the bedroom. So I see he has his clothes hanging up here. More flowers. It seems like my subscribers are quite into flowers overall. I would probably lose the second bedside table here on nightstand as they're called in the US. Just because the, he has this really awkward wall, which is a shame, but I would I would imagine it's going to look more aesthetically pleasing if you just have the one here and then this can just be a walk up area to the bed. I don't know if he, I imagine that he doesn't have a girlfriend if these are bachelor apartments. Maybe he does. That's why he has the second one. But if you don't, I would just go with one bedside table. Personally, I went with just one because the other one would somewhat get in the way of the entrance to the closet. So it's mostly just me here. So I prefer to just have one. Bathroom is kept really nice and clean. I like the use of the bottles and the shelves. Air freshener, good man. Very tidy and very clean for a man's bathroom. I'm quite impressed, especially with these shower curtains because these things are a right bitch to clean. And final look is at the kitchen. I was looking at this photo and I realized it's very hard to have a kitchen looking good when you have stuff lying out on the counter. And if you actually use your kitchen quite a lot, it's somewhat hard to avoid that. I have, honestly, I know I talk about how you need to be able to cook and I can cook, but I've never once used the oven or the hob in this kitchen. I don't have a toaster. I don't even have a kettle. The microwave is built in. There's nothing on the counter except the coffee maker, which does help it looking, keep it looking clean and minimal. When you have the bread bin, the butcher block, the wine, this stuff, the pots and pans up here, it does start to look quite cluttered. And I'm gonna say this because this guy obviously didn't choose the kitchen. It's not the nicest kitchen really. So I think you really have to do what you can to keep it looking clean and minimal. It could maybe benefit with some artwork above the sink, meaning there's no window. But overall, you know, it's it's totally fine and it's clean and there's nothing I hate about it. But I think if you just cleared up the counters and up here a little bit, it would look a lot better. Overall, a really nice place. Definitely nothing female repelling about this place. 
I would enjoy hanging out there. It looks clean, it looks tidy. It reflects his personality. One thing I did notice overall, there was not really much art on the walls. Um, I imagine that this guy, if he's a musician, maybe he has some favorite artists. He might like to express that with some framed posters, maybe something a bit vintage. I think it could look really cool. It would just give it an extra upgrade, but overall good place for sure. Okay, now we come to the last one. Before anybody asks in the comments what I'm drinking, this is Gentleman Jack. My friend bought me this for my birthday. It's pretty good. I can honestly say, I don't know if I can really tell much of a difference between this and Jack Daniels. And I have a lot of respect for Jack Daniels, actually. A lot of people like to trash talk it because it's a mainstream, affordable brand. But when I went on a tour of the Jack Daniels distillery in Nashville, I was blown away by the craftsmanship and the way that they still make every single bottle right there in Tennessee. So I'm actually a bit of a Jack Daniels fan. But this guy is a huge fan of the 60s and the Rat Pack. And you're gonna see that kind of theme in this apartment. He sent me a bunch of pictures. Some of them are kind of close ups and it, it took me a while to figure out the layout, but hopefully you'll figure it out too. So one of the things he has this vintage typewriter here. Very cool. This also looks like a vintage lamp. He's got some old books here. Huge collection of cigars up there. A stereo, which is cool. Maybe he could have gone with something with a bit more vintage look, being as that's what he's going for. I think it's great to have a stereo or some kind of hi-fi system, whether it's vinyl or just Bluetooth, if, especially if you're a guy who likes music and you like to entertain. Now, I'm really not sure what this is. I don't know if this is... This isn't a real TV. This looks like some kind of cardboard thing. I'm really confused about this. Honestly, it doesn't look good. I think it's meant to be some kind of vintage TV, but I don't think it's real. I'm, I'm really confused by it, honestly. And then we have this kind of cabinet up here, but this looks like it's held together with tape or something. I see there's some booze up here. I think this one could do with an upgrade for sure. And if this guy likes antique kind of stuff, I think he does. You could probably get something that serves this purpose, like a glass cabinet from a thrift store for like $100, honestly. I also don't really see what the purpose this stool is serving here. Okay, so this is more of a general look of what we were seeing earlier. He could benefit from having a big piece of artwork up here instead of this small thing. I'm not quite sure what these are going over here, but a big piece of art would frame this much more nicely. And I would lose some of the furniture that's going on here because there's a kind of line of sight that's just very disturbing here. It doesn't flow. If this were in the middle and this were smaller and in that corner, that would work, but it's just very clustered right now. So I think this is the view from the other side. So this is his desk. Nothing too bad about this. I will say I'm beginning to notice I really don't like the color of the walls and it definitely looks like it needs a fresh lick of paint. It looks kind of peeling and all bobbly. This place also, I think it's quite small and it looks very dingy right now. It looks very dingy and dark. This guy is a Sinatra fanatic for sure. The rug, I think also could do with an upgrade. Maybe a vintage Persian style rug would look cool. Now he did mention that he has a very small place. His bed is really tiny. I think this is just a single bed. I don't even see from this angle how he gets in it at night. As I mentioned before in my previous video, if you do want any chance of a little action now and then, i definitely go for at least a full-sized or queen bed because this thing, it's, it's an immediate deterrent and it's an immediate thing in the back of your mind when you meet a woman about, you know, am I going to ask her back to my place? Well, if you have a single bed, that's going to be a bit of a problem. Unless you like very, very, very skinny women and you're also very, very, very skinny. Okay, and finally, I think this is kind of the bedside table area. I'm not sure if there's a need for... Oh, okay, this is just a radio. That's an alarm clock. Super retro. So overall, I'm trying to piece together this place in my mind because the photos don't illustrate the whole thing cohesively. But my impression would be, I understand that you love the 60s thing and you like the Rat Pack and Sinatra, but it's too much in this place, in my opinion. It's a little bit too overkill. You could do with modernizing the place and just infusing sprinkles of this. And when I say modernize it, I mean give it a fresh lick of paint, buy some 
not necessarily brand new furniture, but upgrade your furniture and maybe go for something in more of a mid-century style. And then consider getting some better artwork on the walls. That's a great place to express your personality rather than these little antique bits and bobs everywhere. Because right now it kind of gives me the impression of a dark and dingy bar that smells like cigarettes, which isn't going to be very appealing to women. And personally, I don't think it would be a particularly pleasant living environment to be in either. So overall, I don't want to be mean about this one. I like the vibe that you have. I like the things that you're into. We have a lot of things in common, but I would execute this very differently. I would actually flip this totally on its head rather than base everything on the 60s and these accessories and Sinatra. Think about creating a semi-modern classic bachelor pad and then add these finishing touches to it. So there it is. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at your fellow subscribers' bachelor pads. I would like to know if you would like to see another video like this. And if you would like your home to be featured in a future video, please give me an email. The email is in the description. As I mentioned, I am in the process of creating what I hope will be the ultimate bachelor pad, and I will share with you a full tour when it's completed. I think it'll be a few more weeks until then. Overall, I'm glad to say that the community of Gent Z is living much better than the people I found on Reddit. If you'd like to see the horrors of how ordinary guys are living, check out my reaction video on that. Thank you for watching today's video, and I will see you in the next one.